from Television City in Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen, the Smothers Brothers. <laughs> Good. It's no Tom, good. Tom, you got to commit yourself. It's a good song. It's an old traditional song. It's been with us over a hundred years. And if it wasn't good, it wouldn't have been around so long. That's a pretty dumb argument. It's not a dumb argument. You've been around for a long time, too. But it has nothing to do with it. Some things are, are like this song. When they've been around, they improve with age. Tell me, no. like wine and cheese, they improve with I age. I don't trust any wine or cheese over 30. <laughs> the only thing that improves with age is a teeny bopper. And now you stop. <laughs> Stop that, Tom. Now, something, you're being ridiculous. We came out here to sing a traditional folk song entitled Red River Valley, Tom, and some things don't change. Red River Valley is one of them. It just no, doesn't change. you're wrong. You're wrong. Music has changed, too. Ever, well, ever since 1946 when Fred Hurley invented rock and roll music. And ever now, wait since a minute, then, wait a minute. Changed quite Who a is Fred Hurley, and how in the heck would he invent rock and roll music? Well, Fred Hurley, uh, in June of 1946, yeah. Uh, early June of 1946, and was working at a, uh, he invented rock and roll, and he was working at a power company on the night shift in Kansas City. That's very interesting. Go on. Yeah, and every, well, see, every night on his coffee break, uh, Fred would play a uh, regular old dumb fo uh, folk guitar, regular guitar, mm -hmm. and one night, in a, he, Fred is, <laughs> he was a really bright guy. <laughs> but he really, he really got excited one night when he was playing his regular folk guitar, and he, and he got so excited that he threw himself in the, into the generator in the middle of a song. Wow. <laughs> but at the power plant, he just threw himself right in the generator. <laughs> and what happened? A lot, well, a lot of the workers at the power company said, oh, what's that new sound? You know? oh. <laughs> others, others said, uh, where's Hurley? <laughs> They, they, when they finally found him, he was unharmed it, because his guitar had so, absorbed all the electricity mm -hmm. and uh, it was making a new sound, see? Uh -huh. So every Friday night, all the guys from the power company, would, they, with their dates, they'd come down every Friday night to the, and throw Fred into the generator <laughs> and dance around. And to this day, when people talk about Kansas City, that what they're doing is they're going to see Fred Hurley get thrown in the generator. Oh, no, that's how we got the invention. That is about roll. the silliest, stupidest story I have ever heard. That, that prob probably, pro probably is. is. It right. might be, but it, it does go to prove, Dick, that yeah. the music of the day needs electricity. Well, what do you mean exactly by that? Electrical instruments. Oh. You know, electric bass, electric guitar. Oh. A big sound, plenty of amplifiers around, and something that makes the sound of the day happen, see? Well, where are we going to get all the electric equipment, Tom? You just we need a lot of electric equipment if we're going to do that. I got it, Dickie. I went out and got it myself. I got you all did? this equipment because I love you as my brother, and I went out and got all this stuff because What am I going to do with my old, my old good old bass? I'd tell you, but you wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> See, what happened is I scrimped, and I scrimped and saved and delivered papers after the show, and when You're we... going to get it. When we taped the, <laughs> and after we taped the shows, I would go out and set pins in the bowling alley, and even the, two weeks ago, I stopped smoking. And I skipped my lunches and I saved all this money and bought some electrical, uh, you know, electric equipment. You did all that? You, you saved, well, how much did it cost? Um, $12,000. $12,000? And you saved $12,000 in just two weeks? Wow, I'm proud of you. $12,000 you saved in two weeks. How about that? Yeah, Isn't that I, great? Uh, I um, also sold your race car. <laughs> that race car happened to cost $30,000. Well, I took a loss on the car, but wait till you, wait till you, wait till you see the well, equipment. Well, it better be good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You'll really be... Open up the walls, please. What do I do with my base? Uh, just lay it down. Now, what do I... No, I don't know how to work this. Just work it like a regular base, but do it like you're laying down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. Is that all turn on? Oh, that's part of the power generator from Fred Hurley. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay. Boy, 
Boy, this is gonna be something, America. <laughs> That's what I hope. You just want me to play it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready for Red River Valley, and you're right. Thanks for opening my eyes. Red River Valley, electric. One, two, three, four. Just remember. <laughs> 